Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, this is going to be a pull my shipments video, tell you what I sold. I'm also going to be unbagging more of my free plush. So we're going to mix that into some sales. I'm also going to show you what I'm bringing to Whatnot tonight at 9 15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is going to be more crafters items. So I'm going to start by showing you that. So if you're not interested in Whatnot, I apologize. Just go ahead and fast forward. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, Bolo Buddies, so I had an amazing whatnot show the other night. I sold so much stuff, but I have so much left. We did not even get into the different crafters items for the jewelry making, so I have all of that. I've got a whole bunch of new old stock items, some different lace and things. These are all new old stock beads, beautiful beads, very, very cool stuff. Um, those aren't new, but there's some cool things in there. Here's all beads that are bagged and ready to go. Here's another bag of mostly vintage jewelry. Um, we went through some of it the other night, but we didn't get completely done. Here is more of the polymer molds and stuff like that. We've got this whole case right here. And you see that pile over there? We're going there next. That's stuff you guys haven't seen. Um, these are all beads or uh, pendants. I'm sorry, pendants. Different types of pendants. So we're going to be bringing those. And I still have this tote that we did not get into yet that has just a hodgepodge of crafters items. So we are going to go through that. And let's go over here to, this is stuff from another estate, and it's more like uh, sewing items. So if you guys are interested in seeing the sewing items, let me know that down in the comments. We have some ephemera in here. Um, I'm not even sure exactly what's in this one. Uh, looks like that type of stuff, patterns, stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comments and let's go ahead and pull the first item that I sold. Okay, Bolo Buddies, if you use that link down below to join Whatnot and you're not already joined, you will get $15 to shop. That is my referral link. If you wanna sell on Whatnot, I also have a seller's link down there. And if you use that, um, it's like a seller invite link. You're more likely to get accepted quicker and it will say that I sent you. So check out both those links down below. All right, so this first item I sold is a bread and butter bolo, but it's one that you guys probably pass up and you might see it when you're out. Now, you might not because it's something that's very old and it's an arts and crafts item. So let's go look for it. While we're looking for it, see if you can guess what I sold. Oh no, it says tote seven with question mark. Do you know what that means? <gasps> it means I'm not sure if I put it in tote seven. So let's go see. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Tote seven. Here's tote seven. Do you think it's gonna be here? Or do you think that I messed up? Oh my goodness. My nerves. At least I put a question mark so I know when I get over here that it may or may not actually be here. All right, let's see here. So everything that you're seeing is available in my eBay store. It's hard to kind of tell what everything is. I'm guessing it's not going to be in Tote 7. Oh, here it is. I found it. It was, I was right, Tote 7. They're vintage crayons and you can't see it very well because I already have them bubble wrapped and ready to go just to kind of protect them for when I'm putting heavier things like this inside the tote. They don't get damaged. So, um, yeah, these crayons. Can you believe it? Let me tell you what they sold for. $9.75 plus shipping. Not too bad. And I'm going to pop up a picture right here of what they look like. These are used crayons. They're not even brand new. $9.75 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got them or what I paid for them, so I apologize. That is going to be left out of the video. Let's go find the other item. Okay, Bolo Buddies, it is a listing day. I am going to be listing and I'm looking over here and I have a couple bags of plush from a viewer. They reached out to me and said, I need this plush out of my house. Will you please come and get it? 
you can have it free. And as I'm unbagging it, I'm gonna pop up screen shares of how I listed everything to keep this educational for you guys. Let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna dig in here and then I'm going to pull them up here, okay? So the first item we have is some poop. I got some poop, she gave me some poop. It is an emoji expressions plush pillow and there it is, some emoji poo. All right, we have this guy. Oh my goodness, look at the red eyes. How cute is that? You know, that kind of looks like that one that I just featured in a video. Not sure if it's the same brand or not, but this is by Kamar and it is made by hand in Korea. Definitely a vintage item. And look at the red eyes. The red eyes have got to be rare, right? Okay, this one is adorable. It is Giving Plush Teddy. It is Lovable Plush Giving Teddy with Knit Scarf. Um, made with reclaimed yarns and heart full of love. Giving Teddy is there to comfort, soothe, and encourage and make your world a little brighter. Huh. I don't see a brand, so I don't know, but it, oh, look at the yarn on the feet. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. And the scarf, it is so soft, you guys. And goodness, this next item has been listed for like whoo, a long time. A very, very long time. So I think I know where it's at. It's in a really weird random spot. So let's go see if I'm right. I have my tie tote. And then I have this tote with just random weird things in it. And what I sold is an Easter set. It's in a lot of Easter items and here it is. And I sold these for $11.69 plus shipping. I have had them listed a very long time. I don't remember where I got it, what I paid for it, but I can tell you what it sold for. So they're just little ornaments, very, very cute. They are vintage and I am really, really happy to see these go. Again, these items will be available in my store. The link is down below. If you guys ever want anything, feel free to make me an offer. When you make that offer, put in the notes section, Bolo Buddies, so that I know you are a Bolo Buddy uh, subscriber. Okay, so this one is Kohl's Cares. I don't pick up Kohl's Cares typically because they're usually a major bread and butter, $10 or less. However, I have heard the Rebel Reseller, if you're not following her, she is like, she is amazing and she knows about plush. Go follow her. And she likes picking up Kohl's Care. So um, she said she stocks up on them as much as she can because they sell well at Christmas time. So uh, typically they go with, I think a book, not 100% sure. All right, who is this big guy? This big blue bear is by Toy Factory. And what I love about him is he's blue and he's just so cute. So there's that one. Oh, he's got a little hole. All right, I don't know if I'll list that one. It depends on how it comps. Um, it's on the seam, so it can be easily sewn, but um, we'll see, I'll let you know. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's a Dalmatian. It is made by Animal Adventure. Oh my goodness, look at that face. And it's pretty big and it's a Dalmatian. Some one is looking for this. It's kind of like a pillow, but for being white, it is in fantastic condition. Not seeing any issues with that. Very cute. All right, this next item, I just want to make sure I have it because I had duplicates, multiples. I'm turning the light on and it's been listed for a long time. So sometimes what I will do before I accept an offer is I will go over and see if I have the item because if I don't have the item, <laughs> I definitely don't want to sell the item. And sometimes my quantities get messed up. I had a big glitch a while back and my quantities got messed up. So I always like to check on things that I know were multi-quantity that I may have missed. So let's look through this tote and see if we can find this item. So clothing. I used to be a full-time clothing reseller and I still have tons and tons of clothing. I don't relist it. I should do sell similar. I would probably sell things quicker, but I, I'm just, I just don't have time. I mean, if we're being completely honest, I know I need to do it, but I just don't have time. 
Um, I've been really focusing on cross posting a lot of my jewelry that I have listed on eBay that I haven't gotten over to Poshmark and Mercari. So I've been trying to do that. So this top is either in this tote or it's hanging on one of the racks. So let me look through this tote and see if I can find it. And if it's not here, we will head over at, to the rack and see if it's hanging. Here we go. This is jewelry. This is jewelry. This is jewelry. This huge tote is all jewelry. It will all be coming to whatnot. Jewelry. <laughs> I have jewelry everywhere. That is the plan. These are great for shipping. They are pool noodles. So I just keep them kind of stashed right there. And I'm really like hugging the wall here. I'm going to see if this shirt is quite possibly hanging over here. I looked through that tote, but I did it really quick because I started to think that it's probably hanging right here. Here it is. So this is the shirt I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and accept that offer and get that one shipped out. So this top was probably like TJ Maxx or Gabriel Brothers pickup a long, long time ago. I've had it listed for a long time. So I went ahead and took an offer of $8, which is an absolute steal for this shirt. It's amazing. I don't know if it's like a swimsuit cover up or what, but it is absolutely adorable. $8 plus shipping. This is going out. If you guys are looking for clothing, definitely check out my store um, because I do have a lot of clothing, even though that's not my focus. Um, I bought multi-quantity a long, long time ago. And just, I still have stuff that I list every now and again, but I'm probably going to bring a bunch of my clothes to whatnot also that are not listed. The stuff that's listed is staying listed. I'm not messing with that, but I have a closet full of new with tag stuff that may be coming to whatnot. All right. We have a little lamb. Oh my goodness. The cuteness. The cuteness. Uh, this one is made by I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it's Bath and Body Works from 2009. Somebody might be looking for that. That's cool. This is a Pookie, P-U-C-C-I, Poochie Pookie Pups carry case by Batat. Um, so we'll get that listed. I don't know if I have the pup or not. Ah, oh, look at that. I don't know what it is. We're going to have to use some Google Lens because the tag is cut. Um, is that a pug or is that a Sharpay? What kind of dog is that? I'm so horrible with dog breeds. All right, we've got this little girl. I think she might be VTech. Yep, she is VTech. Care for me learning carrier. Um, so, yeah, cute. That'll probably be just a bread and butter. I love this next item. It's so exciting. It's one of my favorite things to find because I know it's a big money bolo. And when I say big money bolo, I mean it's a big money toy bolo. Like most of you are going to be like, it's sold for what? It's in tote F. So let me get tote F open up here. And tote F is full. Let me flip you around. Okay, so I said, let me flip you around. And I started recording and I've already got this stuff out and realized that I wasn't recording. So what are we looking for? Not this, but how cool is that little vintage Fisher Price? It's got mail in it. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I don't even remember where I got that. I'm sure it's in my notes. Okay, so Blaze and the Monster Machine. There is one that is extra special. If you find her, anybody know who it is? If you find her, she is a pretty big money bolo in my opinion for a toy, for a toy car. But we got to find her here. She is probably buried at the bottom. I don't think I put her in any bag. I don't think. But she is Starla from Blaze and the Monster Machine. Let me know in the comments if you have sold Starla before. I just realized my hand was over the voice thing. So I hope you can hear me okay. We may have to um, pause come back if I don't find it here really quickly. I know some of you said you like the digging. Well, there you go. Right there. $35 this sold for in some cents. I can't remember how many cents. $35. That is a $35 Blaze in the Monster Machine truck. Huh. It's a monster truck. It's the elephant and her name is Starla. If you can find her, she is definitely a bolo. 
you are gonna see them priced for less. Get your price and wait for the right buyer because all the cheap ones are gonna sell and then someone's gonna buy yours because 30 to $40 is what Starla goes for, depending on which model of Starla it is. Um, I have sold her on Mercari. I have sold her, uh, I know I've sold her on Mercari. Maybe on Poshmark, I think maybe in a bundle. Um, but she will sell on all platforms. So definitely, definitely um, be on the lookout for Blaze and the Monster Machine. Let me flip the camera here. Okay, I sold a brawl. These are all Victoria's Secret brawls. And with these, the tags have either been cut or marked through and they were sold at a discount store. They're all new old stock, but um, may have been tried on in the store but may not have. I'm looking for a 32D. This might be it right here. Uh, 32D. Okay, so you can see the original care label is there, but the Victoria's Secret tag has been cut. So when I list these items, I do show this tag and I put a disclosure in the description. So make sure that you're adding that disclosure so that your buyer knows exactly what they are getting. So I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping on this bra. Again, it came from a discount store, usually two to three bucks. And global shipping um, is no longer a thing for me. I got an email from eBay the other day that said, would you like to start using the new shipping, international shipping? And I was like, do I want to start or do I want to wait? And I was like, okay, I'm going to start it, but I at least want to read up on it and, you know, get comfortable and confident before I switch over because there was something I had to do. And then I've had two international sales and they weren't through global shipping. They were through the new program. So I don't even know what's going on, but I am no longer shipping to Kentucky. I am now shipping to Illinois with a totally different format. So, all right, we got Snoopy here. This is another Kohl's Care, Kohl's Cares. Uh, typically, when you get white plush, you might see a little bit of yellowing. This one isn't too bad, so I uh, definitely think it's still listable. I'll list it if it's not, like, horrible. I love you, says the little frog. This one, um, I'm not seeing MGS. I don't know. That one's in kind of rough condition. I'm not sure if I'll list that. I'll look up comps and see. This one is a polar bear and it is made by the Nancy Tillman collection by Demotico. Um, Demotico also makes Willow Tree. I think, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, I think this goes with a book, You Are Loved. Um, I think Nancy Tillman is a book writer. I feel like I've sold something from her before. Okay, I love this guy. I think I've sold something like this before. Opus by Dakin, 1985, with the original tag. Look how awesome is he? He is awesome. He is so cool. All right, this bag is stuffed. How kind in, was she to give me all this? Okay, this one might do something. It's Fisher Price. Yep, so it works. I'm guessing, let's see, Fisher Price. I don't know, but it's cute. It's a little draft, musical draft. So that's definitely a uh, baby toy. All right, we have this little cutie pie that says, sweet princess. I'm, I'm gonna probably just throw this in the wash. It is made by Sad Sam Honey. No clue what that is, but definitely gonna look it up. I don't know what's going on with the ear. Oh, maybe that's just something stuck to it. Look at those sad eyes. Oh my goodness. All right, so this next item, ouch. <laughs> Let me show you what just happened there. I don't pop these up and my uh, pant leg just got caught on it. So yeah, happy, happy walking there. All right, so this next item, I believe it's in here. Oh, let's see. Yes, it is. Okay, so let me tell you about these bras. These bras came from the same discount store as the Victoria's Secret. 
and these were $10, 90% off. So I got these for about a buck a piece, which is fantastic. And I have sold tons. Actually, I had somebody from um, Australia buy in bulk off of me when I first got them. So I have made tons of money on these. Now, here's the problem with them. They are in UK sizes. Now, a 30D in UK is the same as a 30D in the USA. So that one is not different. And this is the bra that I sold. So we're going to put that there. But let me show you this, just for reference in the future. Um, this is a 30G, okay? That is a 30G UK size. So if you actually go and look at the tag you're gonna see that it is actually a USA 30i. So, so they're kind of annoying um, and I can't wait for them to all be sold. Am I glad that I bought them? Yes, because I've made a lot of money on them. Would I buy them again? Oh, I don't know because I've gotten, I don't wanna say a ton of returns, but I've gotten a lot of returns. And a lot of times when the people return the items, they then buy the correct size. It was just an error. They liked the brawl. It was just not the right fit. And I have tons of them, so they order a different size. All right, let me tell you what that sold for. So at this point in time, I've got these priced to move. I sold this for $9.09. .09. And if you look at my title, you can see exactly what I mean. Um, and 30D for USA and UK is the same, but when you get into those bigger, larger sizes like G and H and I, the conversion is different. So keep that in mind when you're outsourcing. Okay, look at this cutie pie. This is a, it's by Moose. I don't know what this is, I'll have to look it up. But Moose is a toy brand, uh, 2016. Ah, oh, it's so cute. Look at those little shimmery, glittery strands, love it. Ah! Okay, we have a Star Wars stocking, and it is Star Wars on the inside tag. So that's pretty cool. We have a little teddy bear. Uh oh, I think it does something. Let's see, it is by Hallmark. Hallmark's good, I like picking up Hallmark. I don't know how to turn it on. Let's see, <gasps> who needs a hook? Hmm. Oh, it lights up. <laughs> it needs a battery. <laughs> hey, oh. stop tickling my toes. I want a hug oh. instead. That's how you turn it on. Oh my gosh. I'm a good hugger. Yeah, baby. So this will be great for my other channel, my reseller testing Bolo products Hugs channel. Later. That is adorable. I'll probably put a new battery in it because I think, oh, it's shaking. Look at it. Do, 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 do. All right, what else do we have in here? Okay, so the lady paid. I'm going to turn out the light because we are going back into the other, ooh, the other uh, tote room. And the lady paid for the blouse. So that was really quick payment. I'm excited about that. So I can get that out and in tomorrow's mail. Um, I always love fast payments. Now we are heading over to tote 12. And this item, I'm going to tell you, I have had listed for forever. Um, I had two sets. The first set sold fairly quickly and the second set, not so much. So let me pull the item, flip the camera. This is my tote of items that have been listed forever. I got these at the Goodwill and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is something super special. Apparently it's not because it's still sitting in my money stash and my listed items. I don't even, oh, that's paper. Okay, maybe I looked at the wrong tote number. What is that? Grocery calendar. Huh, it's not in here. Okay, let me check my phone. Silly me, it's not in tote 12, it's in tote 10. <laughs> Let's go find tote 10. Okay, so they've still been listed a long time. I wasn't lying about that. But tote 12 is my, they've been listed forever tote. Let me flip. Tote 10. These items have also been listed for a very long time. Um, aside from a few things, this is a newer item that I added. Some of it's been listed for a long time. Some of it's newer. Because this was a tote that I started adding to because it has space. And as things get space, I add to them. Here we go. Here's what I sold. 
these scissors. And again, I had two pair originally. I think I got them at a garage sale. Probably paid a buck for them. And new old stock in the original packaging. Look at that. There you go. Lee Tools. So let me tell you what I paid for them. And to say is, let me tell you what I sold them for. Let me turn out the light. I sold them for $12.99 plus shipping. So was it worth the wait? Sure. They've been sitting in a tote. I haven't had to touch them. I haven't had to do anything with them. Um, and now they're sold. And I'm happy because it's a sale. I don't care how long things sit. I'm not one of those people. It doesn't drive me nuts. I don't care. I list it and I forget it. Okay, this has a little stain on it, so probably throw that in the wash also. This is Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. It is a Wish Pets named Snow, and the Columbus Zoo is about an hour from me, so somebody may be looking for that. Okay, this bears. Okay, <laughs> it wasn't turning off. It was just sitting over there shaking. All right, what is this? This is cute. Just a little plush bear. A lot of times just plush bears can be bread and butter and they take a long time to sell, but you never know who's looking for it. And that is one thing I love about plush is, you know, somebody loses their item and they are they need it. They need to find a replacement and it's nice to have those items. So it may not be a big money bolo, but it could be something that someone's looking for. This is DGE. Never heard of that. Look at the little paws. Oh, they're so cute. It's like a little heart. Okay, this one is a little brownie. So from what I understand, these are for, um, I don't know if they're like awards that kids that um, are in brownies when they sell cookies or what, but I think they're for brownies. So usually a bread and butter on those. I haven't found any so far that are worth big bucks, but I haven't really comped them out to see like high to low if maybe some of them go for more. So maybe I should do that because I have been finding those a lot. Okay, this one here has the, it, it's sequins. I think that pops off if I remember correctly. I'll have to check. Um, I forget who this is made by. These are like, um, you know, the toy things that are surprises and you don't know what you're gonna get. And you, a lot of times they're minifigures. These are toys. I'm wondering if this is not one of those as well, but I know this one is. I've sold these before. Can't think of what they're called right now. You'll see it in the screen share, but I think that heart pops out. Don't quote me on that. So for those of you wondering, this is my background. Um, I just told my husband the other day that I want to take each side and I want to lower it about two inches because I feel like in my videos you can see the bottom of the jeans and I don't like that so I'm like can we just do it without taking the jeans off and he's like um I don't know that we can do that the thing I bought are these shelves I have three of them here and I'm going to show you where I'm going to put them or actually I'm going to show you where my husband's going to put them this is my stuff to list pile <laughs> these are all my boxes and let me show you where I'm gonna put these shelves. So between, this is my shipping space like down here. I wanna put these shelves right here. I wanna put three rows and I want to put my owls on them because I have a whole bunch of owls and I just think that would be really cool. And some of them will be kind of high, but I just, I don't know, that's what I wanna do. So I have three shelves, that's my plan. So stay tuned, hopefully that will be in the future and I'll show you guys as soon as it's done. So this is my old bubble wrap and this is the stuff that's no good and I'm trying to get rid of it. So basically what I'm doing with the old bubble wrap that the bubbles are like not really bubbles that you touch them and they like flatten out. Um, I'm using it on things like this and I'm using like two pieces because this is plastic and not breakable. So I'm trying to use up this because I don't wanna waste it. And then my items that are breakables I'm using the good stuff from um, American Bubble Boy. So I talked about this before, but look at these bubbles. Oh my goodness, there's no comparison. So this is for like my breakables. Anything that will break, I'm using the good stuff because 
um, that other stuff just, I have to use like five, six, seven sheets of the other stuff if it's a breakable. This, I do not have to do that. So highly recommend American Bubble Boy. And I just got my second shipment um, today. All right, you guys, you can check out that link down below. It is a referral link and um, you can have it delivered to you monthly. That's what I'm doing. So I am getting four of these rolls um, once a month and it's just auto ship right to me, free shipping. It's incredible. And they also have a rewards program. So when you buy, you get like points to buy, um, to get a discount. So check it out. American Bubble Boy. We have a little Boyd's bear. Uh, nope, I'm sorry. This is a tie, T-Y, um, bunny. So little bunny. Put Easter in the title for those. Definitely will be a bread and butter. This is cute. It's Winnie the Pooh. Um, I've never seen this one. Not that that means anything. There's so many plush. But this one's actually Disney Store. That's awesome. And yeah, wow. So cute. It's got the little zebra. Love it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at it. What is it? Is it an otter? BJ toy. Oh my gosh. That is stinking cute. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Even though it's made in China, you can just tell by the tag. Um, it's vintage. How cool is that? I got to figure out what it is. Love it. We have an elephant. Um, this is Righty 2000 and it's a TY, but it does not have a tag or a tie. I always say TY. Say it how you want. Say it however you want. Okay, we have another Star Wars. This one says Yoda. Stocking. Oh my gosh. Look at this cutie. Oh my goodness. Safe T Saurus. Children's Hospital. That's what that um, branding is. That's in Columbus, Ohio. Somebody might be looking for this. How adorable is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. This guy's in a bag. Um, so he is still, looks like it's probably the bag it came in. It says Travel Lodge, U.S. Army. So I'm guessing this is like an advertising bear. Um, actually, maybe it's from... It's the bag from the thrift store, it looks like. No? I don't know what, maybe not. That's a number, I thought maybe it was a price. Let's look in here and see if we can get a tush tag. It says, yeah, Travel Lodge. So it is a uh, advertising bear. Sosa 21. This is a Bam Beanos. Never heard of that. So maybe like a, a sports bear. And that's it, guys. That concludes how many plush were in this bag. That is amazing, and I'm so excited. If you are watching the viewer that gave me these items, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You have no idea. Um, incredible, incredible, incredible. Super fun. I love listing plush. Um, I always say those bread and butter plush. I will list them because someone is looking for them. And you do not know how many messages I have received from people saying, oh my goodness, I needed this item. I am so glad you had it. You guys remember this, how I told you I love it because it's foam and it fits my hand and I just, I can't get rid of it. And I told you I was gonna buy another one to try. Guess what I got? And you know what? It's fantastic. I love it. It feels almost the same. Um, the other one I have didn't have this on it and I just hated it. So I'm really excited because this is fantastic. I ordered this off of eBay. I don't know. I just picked one. And there it is. Are you guys proud of me for like upgrading to a better tape dispenser? <laughs> so one thing that is super cool is three of the items going out today are really stale items. And they are, I think the last time I relisted them was probably three years ago, like did sell similar. So when I tell you really stale, they've been listed for probably three years or more. And they still sold. So I know there is something to um, ending your listings and doing sell similar, but I also can tell you that things will still sell if they just sit. 
Um, do they sell quicker if you do sell similar? Perhaps. But did I still sell three really stale items today? Which is really weird that I sold all three of them today. Um, yeah, they'll still sell. And I'm super excited woo, to get them out of my house. Okay, so while I was shipping, I sold another item. I'm going to turn on the light. All right. So this one is in Craft Tote 3. Craft Tote 2. Craft Tote 3 is over here. So Craft Tote 3 is down here. Let's take a peek and see how quick we can find it. It is Quilt Blocks. And it is, I think it's this one. Is this Tobin? Tobin? Are you Tobin? Oh, I don't know if you're Tobin or not. I don't know if that's it or not. I don't think it is now that I'm looking at it. Is this it? Oh my goodness, I have to look at my phone. Hang on just a second. Okay, they seriously all look the same, but here it is. Uh, Tobin, right there, Tobin. So this is what it looks like. And I do have two more of these available. And really, typically when people buy these, they buy multi-quantity. So I'm surprised the person didn't buy more than one. Um, and I do have discounts when you buy more than one, but I sold it for uh, $22.75 and the buyer paid shipping for this. So that came from um, an estate sale and it was a bulk buy purchase. So probably less than a dollar in that. All right, you guys, I hope to see you at my craft show on whatnot at 9.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There is a link down in the description of the video that will take you over to the show. If you're joining whatnot, you can join with that link and it is a referral link, so you're going to get $15 to shop. All right, you guys, see you tonight. Okay, Bola Buddies, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're new here, let me know down in the comments how you found the channel. Thanks for watching.